Good morning everyone, I hope you are okay. Today our assembly is about Remembrance Day. So it's the 11th of November and at 11 o'clock we will do a two minute silence. Lots of you will be wearing puppies like mine. We might have the paper ones. Here is a little couple of pictures of my little boy and my dog wearing a poppy as well. The poppy is a symbol of remembrance and a hope of a, for a peaceful future. Wearing a poppy is a show of support for the service and sacrifice of our armed forces, veterans and their families. It represents all those that lost their lives on active service in all conflicts from the beginning of World War I right until, up until the present day. During the First World War, previously beautiful countryside was blasted, bombed and fought over and over again. The landscape swiftly turned to fields of mud, bleak and barren where little or nothing could grow. But out of the devastation, the delicate but resilient bright red Flanders poppy grew and flourished in their thousands. Shortly after losing a friend in 1915, a Canadian doctor, Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, was inspired by the sight of the poppies growing in the battle-scarred fields to write his now famous poem, In Flanders Field. I'm now going to read that to you. In Flanders fields the poppies blow Between the crosses, row on row That mark our place and in the sky The larks still bravely singing fly Scarce heard amid, amid the guns below We are the dead, short days ago We lived about dawn, saw sunset glow Loved and were loved and now we lie In Flanders field Take up our quarrel with the foe to you from failing hands we throw the torch be yours to hold it high if you break break faith with us who die we shall not sleep though poppies grow in flanders field and that was by john mccray over the weekend i went to war memorial park in coventry which is my local park there are over 800 trees in this park and each one of them has got a little plaque on which remembers someone who died either in the First World War or the Second World War. Also in the park they have done a big painting on the pavement which is a beautiful painting and they've got a big memorial there which you should be able to see a picture of in a second which stands really tall, it's the tallest park in part in the park um, so that everyone can see it from whatever direction you look at. Some of you might recognise these pictures of Castle Bromwich Green. You can see our more memorial here and lots of people put poppies there the weekend. This is Seb and Lacey Ray's poppy display in their front window of their house. They've done a lovely job of all those poppies decorating their windows. We're now going to start our two minute silence. Could you please stand?
I'm now going to read you a story called Where the Poppies Now Grow. This is the field where the poppies now grow. These are the children who like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. This is Ben and his best friend Ray who are two of the children that like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. These are the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other built by Ben and his best friend Ray who are the two of the children that like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. This is the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other. Built by Ben and his best friend Ray who are two of the children that like to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. These are the armies joined up by men, men like Ray and his old friend Ben who march by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other. Built by Ben and his best friend Ray who were two of the children that liked to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. This is the battlefield barren and stark, a stage for a war dangerous and dark to be charged by armies joined up by men, men like Ray and his old friend Ben who march by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other. Built by Ben and his best friend Ray who were two of the children that liked to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. This is the soldier, injured and hurt, left to die in the cold and the dirt, out on the battlefield barren and stark, that staged a war, dangerous and dark, charged on by armies, joined up by men, men like Ray and his old friend Ben, who marched by the makeshift aerodrome, with barricades of sand and stone, that shield the trenches used for cover, to hide from the enemy and each other. Built by Ben and his best friend Ray, who were two of the children that liked to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. This is the soldier, bold and brave, who risked his life in order to save another soldier, injured and hurt, left to die in the cold and the dirt, out on the battlefield barren and stark, that staged a war dangerous and dark, charged on by armies, joined up by men, Men like Ray and his old friend Ben who marched by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shield the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other. Built by Ben and his best friend Ray who were two of the children that liked to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. Ben was the soldier Ray found. Ben was a soldier Ray found, lying alone on the battleground. Ray was a soldier, bold and brave, who risked his life in order to save. Another soldier, injured and hurt, left to die in the cold and the dirt. Out on the battlefield, barren and stark, that staged a war, dangerous and dark. Charged on by armies, joined up by men, men like Ray and his old friend Ben, who marched by the makeshift aerodrome with barricades of sand and stone that shielded the trenches used for cover to hide from the enemy and each other. Built by Ben and his best friend Ray who were two of the children that liked to play out in the field where the poppies now grow. Please put your hands together and close your eyes. Dear God, hear our prayers and protect our brave troops who sacrifice themselves to protect us. Bless our fallen soldiers and those who are still working towards peace and justice in this world. I ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Saviour. Amen. 
thank you for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you soon Thank you.